Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ambition Rates. So today is gonna be all about Carter. My dog, per usual. I've been getting a couple DMs and emails and just comments on my previous videos about the process of getting Carter. So I figured let me just do a video real quick talking about that because obviously you guys got questions. So the process of getting my dog, a silky Yorkie Terrier, a silky Yorkshire Terrier, if I'm gonna be correct. Um his name is Carter, he is three years old. I will put all his videos up in the cards, also in the description bar throughout this video. So my process of getting him wasn't that difficult. I'm a planner and I'm a researcher, so I did a lot of Googling. I wanted a dog so bad that I was going to get him off of Craigslist. Well, I was going to get a dog off of Craigslist. So I will tell you that that's probably not the best thing to do. Craigslist is not reliable. It's not safe to me. You can never be too sure if they're really giving you a dog or something else. They tend to not come with any documentations. I'll get to that in a second as to what Carter does have. The price point is cheaper than if you go through a breeder or through a pet store or whatever. It is cheaper, which makes you feel like, okay, I'm saving money, but it just comes with too many unreliable um, things. I would speak to a couple of people off of Craigslist. There wasn't any like documentation. There wasn't anything for me to sign, no contracts. Um, they didn't have the breeder's information from the dog or like they didn't have anything of the dog. Um, the videos or the pictures were cool, but like, it just didn't add up or their payment was like oh yeah cash at me or paypal me i'm just like nah you know what i mean so nothing legally was there so if you're looking for a dog i wouldn't recommend craigslist i feel like it's just not reliable you don't know what the dog has if it doesn't have any documentations like i just i wouldn't recommend craigslist so after craigslist i was like okay forget that i'm gonna go research breeders breeders um people that specifically breed yorkies which is what i wanted um, purebred or whatever and those are pretty pricey it actually was harder to find breeders as well because they weren't where I'm located so the breeders weren't in Massachusetts so I wanted a place that was um, drivable I didn't want to get on a plane to go visit the dog like you know what I mean and again communications with breeders was far and few many don't really respond or if they do the dogs sell out very quickly because you know um, everyone wants dogs, especially a Yorkie. So even though breeders come with documentations, they obviously know the dog because they breed it. They are familiar with the dog. They have they give them their shots and stuff like that. It's the most expensive, at least in my opinion, they are the most expensive because it's coming from the source. It's very competitive because everyone wants a Yorkie, and if you want and see a Yorkie you want, you kind of have to like grab it then and there type of thing. So I didn't go with that route. I also decided, okay, forget breeders, forget Craigslist. Let me see, like, any pet stores in Massachusetts. That's where I'm located because I want to see the dog. So, you know, going to the mall, you see Pet Express, and you see the dogs in there. So I went in there and just, you know, went in and see what that was about. I did some research online and heard that a lot of people complain about the dogs that are in Pet Express or something like that because they aren't well taken care of. I don't know how true that is, but I did a lot of research and I did see that. So I was like, ugh, I don't know what's happening. Um, you can play with the dogs when you go to Pet Express, but... I don't know. I just didn't. Something about it I didn't like. Um, I've been. I kept hearing like they're from the puppy puppy mills. They're not taken care of. Um, they're just um, you know in the cage and they're not like socializing. They're not out. They're depressed. Like so, I was like, oh no. Even though they come with everything, documentations or whatever. I so I am told. I don't know. I didn't go to Pet Express either. I just didn't like the feeling. I didn't like the reviews. So I skipped that as well. Now, mind you, I'm just telling you my process and how I went about this. If you want to get your dog off Craigslist, if you want to go to a breeder, if you want to go to Pet Express, by all means do that. I'm just telling you why I chose not to, since everyone keeps asking me. I was seeing like a lot of dogs, like if you go on Instagram, I think it's called like Wolf Puppies or something like that. They have beautiful, beautiful dogs, but I'm not where they are. So I wasn't into shipping the dog either. So... A lot of, there's a lot of options to get dogs, it's just which one are you most comfortable with. Like I said, I didn't want to ship the dog, I didn't want to get on Craigslist, I didn't want to do all that. So, I just was like, let me just see if there's any dogs, pet stores, 
near Massachusetts in Massachusetts whatever and that is how I found my location what I basically did as I researched and I found the website I called them um, they have pictures and or videos of the dogs that they have available. They say their birthday on there. So for Carter's, it says September 9th, 2017. At the time when I looked, he was only he was a few weeks old. So they don't release a dog until after eight weeks because that's standard. So when I saw him, I was like, oh my god, I have to get him. He was born on I me and Bay's anniversary, September 9th, and so I was like, oh my god, that's so cute, I want it. So we made a call to go see the dog, so we quickly did that. Because like I said, people grab dogs quickly. So we called him, we secured um, a deposit, it was like $100. We was like, let me just secure it just in case, like whatever. So we went and saw the dog. I have that vlog of the first time seeing Carter. Again, if you want to check that out, it'll be in the cards, also in the description bar and fell in love. He was super cute and jumpy, still is, but um, yes. So we decided to, to get him and he was about $2,000, a little bit over that. And so we decided to get him. Now through this facility, through this pet store, you can finance through two different lenders. So you could do that if you want or you could pay full. You could do whatever you want as long as, you know, you're paying for the dog over time. So with their finances, I think it was over two years, I believe. So we got him, we got all the paperwork. So with him, I got his family tree paper. So I saw that his mom's name is Almond Joy and his father's name is um, Spencer Tracy. We got his breeder information. So he's actually originally from Kansas. So we got that, the American Canine Association. Making sure that you have that paperwork is super duper important. And this is why I said on Craigslist, most of those people didn't have these papers, so I didn't trust them. So having a dog that comes with those paperwork is super important. Um, it also came, he also was already microchipped, so it came with his microchip activation form as well. So if, you know, he runs away, I could, you know, call up the number and they'll track him down type thing. He already came with this, I didn't ask them to. He came with his vaccination forms and already with vaccines as well. And another thing with why I decided to pick a pet store and what I really liked about this pet store in particular is once we brought Carter home, I also have a vlog on that, he actually got sick. I didn't show him getting sick, but he got kennel cough. And so it was still within the warranty time. So we brought him back to New Hampshire and they took care of him for a few days and they actually reimbursed us money. So that is what I like because if you was to get a dog from Craigslist and it ends up getting sick or dying or something in a short span of time, that's not on them that's on you. You know what I mean? There's no like legal documentation through Craigslist or um, a breeder I'm pretty sure would have been different, would have been fine. But I really like that I have picked this particular pet store, they're in communication with the breeder and it just was a lot more secure for me. So this is what my process was. So after he got better, he came back home, I secured him with a, a vet at PetSmart. So he has that insurance. I also got him another insurance, which is called Trumpanion. So he has two insurances. The reason why he has two is because one is local. So if he, you know, his daily checkups or whatever, he goes to PetSmart Banfield. But if he is sick in the middle of the night or something and the PetSmart isn't open, he will go to an emergency vet. Thank goodness he hasn't had to do that yet, so I haven't even had to use that other insurance yet. But just knowing that that's an option makes me feel secure. Again, this is my process. You don't have to have two insurances on your dog if you don't want to. I just prefer that if anything happens, he has two. So yeah, basically, so after you get your dog, you have to bring them to the vet. Like, it's standard that you do that. And the process was pretty much easy after that. And he's three years old and still alive. So, so yeah, that was basically my process on getting a dog. I know a couple people was asking me, like... They're having, they're having a hard time researching. It isn't an easy task if you are specific on how you want your dog. Again, there are a lot of options. So, you know, if you don't mind Craigslist, if you don't mind going directly to the breeder, if you're in a good location where you have access to that, that's really good too. Pet Express is good. If you want your dog from the UK, it's not a big deal. And a local pet store is just as good. So, um, I do know um, a lot of Pet Smarts and Petco, I believe, has like adoption days too so you could always research when they have dogs to come um to be adopted that's also a really good option to do um i might do that for my next dog is adopt a dog or you could also do a rescue dog that's that's really good too so go to your sh local dog shelters and get a dog that way um, just keep in mind though with the rescue dogs and some adoption dogs they don't have all the paperwork because 
they don't know where they came from sometimes but it's not a bad thing as long as um they have some type of documentations or vaccines then it's fine um i just feel like it's just easier to cover yourself that way but again if you got a rescue dog and has no documentation it's not the end of the world just know that it is on you if you find anything wrong with the dog it is what it is but for me for my first dog never having a dog in my life i just wanted it to be as simple as possible so that's why i went with the pestle that i did they handled everything on the back end like i said the vaccines were already done he was already microchipped he had his family tree so yeah so like i said that process was just easy for me but you could choose whatever process you want. So I hope this answered um, you guys' questions that kept DMing me. If you have any further questions about Carter, the process of getting a dog, things you need for a dog, etc., etc., watch the other videos before you ask me because I do have a lot of information on there. But if not, you can DM me, leave comments down below, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.